now we're in business. So we're on 2021.1 and we have a 100% screen. And one of the biggest uh, requests we've had over the years, and um, as you can imagine, for me too, I've got my glasses on today. I think I think actually Steve picked me because I wear glasses and we wanted to focus on the user experience. But essentially the biggest request is as people get larger and larger monitors, they want to make the best use of them. So they're not in a position to, uh, or haven't been in a position to in some of those earlier versions of XO. We've got that very thick, heavy text. Um, everything looks a bit heavy and dense and um, and if even if they try and expand the screen, the screen will fill out, but all the fonts and everything else will stay the same. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to just go to my desktop, um, bear with me, and I'm going to change my resolution to 150%. Uh, um, I could just go to 125, but I think we may as well show you. Um, you know, I've even actually played around and taken it up to 175. Now, for me, that was ridiculous because I've got a relatively small monitor. Um, but now I believe we may need to stop and restart that sharing to get that to come through. It's come through. It's bigger now. We've so now up. we've got our 150%. Um, this is at 150%. So you can see the fonts are larger. Um, the, the fonts are also much cleaner and clearer now. Uh, as you would have noticed in other, in other earlier user group sessions, this change was uh, commenced and pushed out through the standard screens, the EXO business finance screens. Um, but now it's actually been broadened to encompass the job costing and the CRM screens as well, uh, and even config. So what you can see now on this screen, I'm not sure how well it shows through the Zoom session, but these have actually got alternate shading on them. And those of you that work with a lot of Excel spreadsheets and those of you that work with a lot of data know how invaluable this can be. Um, you know, how many times are we sitting there trying to highlight a row in order to just make sure we stay on that row? So, you know, that that is, um, that's been quite incredible. So as you can see, much easier to read and work through the work through the screens um, with that ability to to change the user uh, to change the resolution and have that apply all the way through. And I'm just going to try and tuck that away. The other the other thing that you will notice, and um, just duck that down there so I can see it, a bit of a rudimentary way to do it. Uh, but one of the other things you'll notice is we no longer have as many icons along the top. I think for some people that the icons were getting a little bit older. We can now see that it's a very clean and clear, you know, we've got a cancel, we've got a bin, we've got a printer, we've got all the standard options iconized, but any other actions, those those uh, functions that would change from tab to tab are now available on drop downs. So for most users, that's just making it much easier. I've got the basic things I need on a on an icon on the main screen, anything else I can click on a drop down and, and select it. So it actually makes that process um, much, much easier for people, I think, and easier for people that are looking at the system for the first time. I think um, I feel like we've, it has definitely come a long way from the from the humble beginnings of a um, you know very solid feature rich robust product to the product that it is now. Um, it definitely feels a lot a lot nicer to work with and use, uh, particularly as some of us may be working till late into the evening on it. The better better we can uh, deal with the the vision and the visuality of it, uh, the better that it is.